hello friends and welcome back to sdm classes so as promised i am back here again to tell you the short trick how to learn the basic characteristics of the four different types of epithelial tissue in my last video we were discussing the basic characteristics shortcut for the basic characteristics of epithelial tissue that is one of the kind of animal tissue so here in this particular video we are going to learn quickly the four different types of epithelial tissue so epithelial tissue it is basically of four types simple squamous columnar cuboidal and glandular the first one that is simple squamous the simple mnemonics to learn or we can say the simple trick to learn the basic characteristic of simple squamous is you have to learn one sentence that is how simple flat thin and delicate skin you have arranged in layers and no wear and tear at all now how this sentence is telling you the basic characteristics of simple squamous simple squamous epithelial tissue are simple they are flat in nature they have thin cells and delicate cells okay simple flat thin and delicate cells are present for example skin so example of simple squamous epithelial tissue is skin arranged in layers that means these simple squamous epithelial tissues are arranged in many layers in order to prevent the wear and tear of the tissues okay they are arranged in many layers to prevent wear and tear also they are arranged in a pattern of layers that is why they are also called as stratified strata word means layers stratified squamous epithelium next let us move on to the second epithelial tissue columnar epithelial tissue only tall people can absorb or secrete at this time and move across barrier whereas people with respiratory disease have hair and mucus so to learn the basic characteristics of columnar epithelial tissue you have to learn this sentence how this sentence tells you the basic characteristics of columnar epithelial tissue tall that means columnar epithelial cells are tall in nature tall we can also say they are pillar like okay now they are generally present in those areas or we can say in those organs which either have to absorb or secrete substances either absorb or secrete substances in our body the main place or we can say the main junction where absorption and secretion takes place is the intestine so example over here for cuboid sorry for columnar epithelial cell where they are present where these tissues are present in the intestine okay and this epithelium facilitates movement across the barrier it facilitates movement across the barrier now the same columnar epithelial tissue when it is present in the respiratory tract it has hair like structure which is called cilia in the respiratory tract it has hair like structures which is called cilia and that is why it is called ciliated epithelium ciliated columnar epithelium okay along with cilia these ciliated columnar epithelium also produce mucus 
okay so this sentence is easy to remember only tall people can absorb or secrete intestine and move across barrier whereas people with respiratory disease have hair and mucus tall tells you that the cells are tall in nature pillar like these columnar epithelium are present only where absorption or secretion of substances takes place example is intestine these epithelium facilitates the movement across the epithelial barrier then when it is present in the respiratory tract of the organism they have hair like projections that is known as cilia and that is why it is also known as ciliated columnar epithelium and their movement pushes the mucus forward to clear so they also produce some mucus next third type is cuboidal cuboidal the sentence is your kidney cubes can mechanically support salivary glands now from this the second word kidney is telling us that example of cuboidal epithelium is kidney tubules they are present in the lining of kidney tubules then the cells are cube shaped cube shaped cells example kidney tubules cube shaped cells and the main function of cuboidal epithelium is that it provides mechanical support it provides mechanical support another example for cuboidal epithelium is salivary glands it is also present in the ducts of the salivary glands so your kidney cubes can mechanically support salivary glands with this statement you can remember the characteristics of cuboidal epithelium last is glandular epithelium now the sentence is glands which are folded inward secrete substances that means sometimes a portion of the epithelial tissue folds inward okay when it folds inward the glands are formed okay and when the glands are formed over there that is known as glandular epithelium right and such glandular epithelium their main function is to secrete substances all right glands which are folded inward secrete substances sometimes a portion of the epithelial tissue folds inward and a multicellular gland is formed over there such epithelia is known as glandular epithelium and the function of these glandular epithelia is to secrete various substances at the surface so you saw with the help of simple mnemonics and these statements you can remember all the basic characteristics of the four type of epithelial tissue a kind of animal tissue friends if you like or if you find this video informative please click on the like and subscribe for my channel thank you so much